Good morning, developers. If you are new to the channel, my name is Rob, and it is JavaScript Tuesday. We've been going through the updates to ECMAScript since 2015. That was ES6, the really big release. But awesome stuff has continued to come out year after year. And if you'd like to, like to get caught up, uh, I will link the playlist in the description. If you're blurry on the relationship between ECMAScript and JavaScript, I'll link a video uh, that, will, that will help clarify hopefully some of that as well. Today, we have a really scary page open called Lexical Grammar, which is hiding a fantastic gem from ES12 or the 2021 release. This is an awesome quality of life uh, update that if you didn't know it exists, you'll be very glad uh, that, that you do now, and it's gonna be very, very short. Before we hop down there, I'm just gonna talk through what this is. Uh, JavaScript has lexical grammar, meaning when we write our code, our source text, it's just a bunch of characters, right? Letters, numbers, symbols, things you can make with a keyboard. The interpreter has to convert it to machine code, and in order to do that, it has to make some decisions. So it starts scanning it, scanning the text from left to right, and figures out what actually matters. So some of the stuff it gets rid of immediately, which are white space and comments. Those have nothing to do with our, with our code. For others, it, it does have to go a little bit farther just to, to figure out whether it is syntactically uh, significant or not. Okay, where's this going? Well, over on the right-hand side, I'm gonna click on literals, and that's gonna scream down the page, and we're gonna pass these, and we're gonna hit numeric literals. You know what a numeric literal is, you may just not refer to it uh, that way. They are numbers, so <laughs> just a basic number, or if, if you've used big int before, that's, that's all a numeric literal is. Well, this is a huge number, and I don't like looking at it in my code if I've hard-coded it. It'd be really nice if I could put commas in there, but of course, my code would break. Except if we keep scrolling down here in ES12, or again, 2021, numeric separators were added to improve readability for numeric literals, underscores can be used as separators. And they've got a bunch of examples here, but if I hop over real quick, uh, you, you, don't, you don't really even need to see this, but if I just hit one with a bunch of zeros after it, I've hard coded this into my file, and I don't wanna look at that number, I, if I have to modify it, it's gonna be miserable, but we can do this now, drop underscores in there. It's easy to read now that this is one billion and it, it will maintain uh, all of its properties that it already had here. We'll add 100 to it, I'll hop over and refresh and there we go. It works for big ints as well, so if I put an N at the end of both of these, come over and refresh again, it works just fine. So this is awesome. Um, the only things to note for limitations are that you can't use more than one underscore. You cannot put one at the end and you can't have a zero followed by uh, an underscore. I'll go ahead and copy this. Um, this code will be in the repository and I'll make a note up here uh, per MDN and then I'll drop the link in there too just so that you have this. Uh, these are all going to air for the reasons that, that we just mentioned. Um, if I scroll down here real quick to, um, actually I'm just gonna copy this and search for it. It'll be easier to find. Here we go. Numeric separators have been su great support uh, going back a long ways to 2021 because it was pretty easy to update. I have no idea why Opera on Android does not support it, but that's the only place you'd ever have to worry about this being an issue. Uh, that does it for this one. Um, when you need it, this will be awesome that, that you know that you have it, that it is valid syntax now. JavaScript will skim over it and you, your code will be better and the world will be better because of it. I will link another JavaScript video and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.